I have a couple of words to, to say. Um, the other journal remains mine. Um, and I was, during the past few years, I was one of the people who was going more against this gospel of uh, women needing more assistance than men uh, in their different fields. I thought uh, admitting to needing extra assistance puts you in a special class and to prime a special class meant uh, you cannot be at the same level where you need a bit more assistance. And I didn't want to think such of myself. I still do not want to. However, one day when I do man, I made this TED talk uh, by a woman called Cheryl Sandberg. Yes. And she spoke so well about this thing called a glass ceiling that exists for women in different societies and how it's difficult to put a finger at it, but it's there. For instance, out of the 190 heads of state we have, how many are females? <laughs> okay, yes. Uh, but we have about nine heads of state out of 190. Out of all parliamentarians world over, we have like 13% of women representing women across the world in parliament. Not very fair statistics, if you ask me. Um, so, in my opinion, we do need the help. Doesn't put us in a special class, um, but we do need the help because at no time get up again, Zana. I think we agree. So I love this journal, Remands Mine, and reading some of the articles that I managed to read online, it's fantabulous. It gives us a platform to share our different stories. That's uh, all of them are pretty inspirational. You see, as you read the journal. And like Bainam was saying, most of us haven't been writing even though we've got such great material. Mm. So, so, I salute you, Provo Africa, for coming up with this platform. I must make special mention of Rulo Ayedo, who actually her first message to you. Yes. So, yes, thank you so much for this platform. Um, and I hope all women take the opportunity to just write about what's going on in their lives. Us musicians have different stories to tell about our experiences in the music industry. When we require, we have different stories to tell and they all shape our stories and they inspire the younger generations. Once it is no one will ever know.